What's up guys, Vampire Cat Productions here with another review, and you might notice that I am in a different place today, because today what I'm going to be reviewing is this cassette tape adapter that I got from Wish. And I wanted to originally do this in my car, because of course that's where you're likely going to use this, since I already have an auxiliary cord on my stereo, I don't need this in here. But my battery is dead, and I can't get a new one right now, so I have to just test it out with this. <clears throat> so first off, we just gotta open up this package, and okay, so this just kind of pops right off here, and then right here we have. Don't wanna pull the cable off. We have this. Uh, it's pretty simple looking. Um, there's that is what it plays on right there. So as you can see on here, it says CD car cassette adapter. Um, and it even, they even actually bothered to put the official uh, compact disc logo there. But I'm pretty sure that this is not an officially, uh, an official item, uh, just based on this package uh, and because it's Wish. Just let me, let me read this for you. The car stereo set broadcast to convert the machine. I'm sorry. What? And then we flip this around to the back. Uh, for, well, first it has DVD, video CD. So it has all these things that have nothing to do. It has TV. It has all these things down here that have nothing to do with audio. It has, it doesn't even have, it has mini disc. But it doesn't have, like, it has a bunch of stuff that has nothing to do with audio itself. I, you can use it to adapt the audio. But let's let's just read these back instructions. Instructions. Okay, so they did spell that right. Check if the connect, and, and they misspelled connect with one in. Connect. Check if the connect positri, positri, po, I can't even look at this. Post 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 R slash I had a stroke. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna post this on R slash I had a stroke because I'm probably gonna have a stroke trying to read this. Anyways, so let's just uh, open up my cassette deck and let me well first let me undo this little twisty tie so I have enough cable to show you guys so let's just uh, open this up and stick this baby down inside here and I don't have I don't have my other phone right now so I have to use this DS as my way to test out if the sound works so let's just close this up and then let's go to tape. So it's kind of... Ooh, that sounds awful. Okay, so they are playing... Yeah, listen to that. So just, just listen to that. Listen to how loud that is. That, it's not supposed to sound like that, okay? I know that much. It's not supposed to sound... Like, my tape player is dying in there. Anyways, let's just start Super Mario 3. And... Okay, so you can hear this. It does play the audio, so... We... We know that the audio plays. Let's just listen to this intro. So, if I turn up the volume to, like... 10 or something, you finally can't hear that grinding sound. But if I turn it down to like a normal volume of 4 or something, which is normal for me to be at this distance from, that is just awful sounding. Now, I will admit, the sound from the speakers isn't actually that bad. It, it seems to be processing the audio fairly well. I'm just gonna skip this stuff and I'm just gonna go get a cassette and put it in and I'll show you that it's not the player it is 
this adapter that is making all that g grinding sound, and I'm pretty sure it's like the gears or whatever in there. I don't know if I can take it apart and grease it or whatever and fiddle around with it, but that is just unacceptable. That is just absolutely terrible. So right here for you guys, I've got Don't Rock the Jukebox by Alan Jackson. This is one of my favorite country albums. So let's just pop this in here and see what a normal tape sounds like before my phone dies. And then I'll charge it and I'll come back and talk some more about the adapter. So let's just do tape. Notice... The tape isn't making like a really loud ground grinding sound with this song. That that should tell you something right there. A normal a, a normal cassette tape doesn't make that grinding sound. So it 100% is just this Chinese adapter. And I I really wasn't expecting very good quality to begin with and my suspicions were correct. This sounds terrible. Um, but like I said, I'm going to go fiddle with this, see if I can do some stuff with the gears, and I'm going to go charge my phone, and I'll get back to you guys in just a sec. So, I took this part, fiddled around with it, and I put it back in here, and it was doing the sound still for a bit, and then it stopped. Um, and then, and then I had the thought, hey, what if I take out the gears or whatever? Maybe those are just in there and they just don't know how to design this. And that's just something useless that they just had in there. And I took it out and it didn't work. So I was wrong with my theory. And so I had to put it back together. So hopefully when I stick this in here, now that I'm recording, this is going to play correctly. So let's just, uh, get this in here, get that locked. Let's just hit play on this. Listen to that. The sound is pretty much gone. That is amazing. sounds way better like I think even the sound quality now that it's not like skipping or doing whatever it was I think this has just improved the sound quality of it that is amazing so let's just play a little bit of Mario usually not this bad. I just, it's really hard to play at this position. But you can see. So yeah, so this, as you can hear, it's not making that annoying grinding sound anymore. So I can now safely recommend this product to you guys. Anyway guys, now that I finally got this thing fixed and working correctly and it's no longer making those grinding sounds, I can finally conclude this review and I can definitely now safely recommend this to you guys um, if you do get this and you have grinding sounds and problems like that just like I did with mine there's just six screws there's just four on this side two on the top on this side it just comes apart and there's just like I think six there's one two three four five yeah there's six gears in here um, and it's really easy to tell where they go so if you one falls out and you drop it on the floor, you can put it back very easily. Um, but it's it's very much worth the price that I paid, because I, I did not pay very much. I'll put the price right here. And so, if you guys are interested in this adapter, there will be a link to it, or one similar to it, down in the description below. 
Uh, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe because there will be more reviews like this every week. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. And also, guys, make sure to follow me on all these platforms so you can keep up with me and my channel. The links are in the description below.